Hi guys, Simon here from Cambridge Rugby uh, with your next instalment of the Cambridge Rugby Community Team Skills School. So today I'm going to be doing a little session based on your development towards passing. So the next couple of ones you'll get from me after this will be about a push pass and then a spin pass. So today we're looking at gripping the ball and how we can work on our touch, which will ultimately help with our, our passing going forwards. So we're looking at how we grip the rugby ball. So you need a ball, ideally the right one for your age group, but any rugby ball will do. Uh, we're not trying to get our palms flat on the ball like this. We're just trying to get our five points from each hand on the contact. So fingers and thumbs, fingers and thumbs. So all we're going to look at is how we transfer the ball and how we can work on that grip. So the first one, you also need a tennis ball. So find yourself a nice bit of hard ground. I've got a concrete path here. Uh, well, it's been pretty dry, so the grass might work as well. Just grip the ball in one hand, take the tennis ball and try and bounce it. All we're trying to do is get maybe 10 bounces in. Just bounce it up to waist height and then we're going to change hands. Again, that just works on our grip and our switch. When you get better, you can go three and change. And when you get really good, you can go one and change, like so. Okay, that's the first bit. Next bit, we're just gonna look at the development of that on in terms of using our fingers to control and move the ball. So we can just move it from side to side, like this. Again, just trying to use our fingers. Don't worry too much about the spin. Don't worry too much about too much height. We're just looking at getting used to gripping the ball like that. Again, nice and easy. One more <clears throat> is bring the tennis ball back in. We're gonna do a little bit of juggling. So we're looking to move the ball and swap the tennis ball. Move the ball up, pass the tennis ball over. So we're just concentrating on the rugby ball and moving it. If we get really good, we can put a little bit of spin in it if we want to as well. So get yourself sorted with your grip and a little spin past the tennis ball. Spin past the tennis ball. Okay, one more development to try now. So it's a little bit of movement on from what we've been doing. So a lot of what we've done so far has been focused on the rugby ball. So when we did the, the spin pass, we were focusing on the ball. Uh, when we did the spin pass, swap the tennis ball, well, all our focus was on what we're doing with the rugby ball because we know we can pass the tennis ball between our hands without really having to look at it. Now we're going to take our attention away from the rugby ball while still trying to move it because our focus is going to be on this. So we need a wall now. And what we do is we throw the tennis ball at the wall and we swap the hands with the rugby ball. Okay, tennis ball, swap hands. Okay, so what you'll notice is while we're doing this, all my focus is on the tennis ball and not the rugby ball. So it becomes second nature to be able to move the ball between my hands. What we can do is if we want to try and push it on a little bit, is we can try and put a bit of air on the ball. Okay, so instead of just passing it over, we're going to try and throw a little pass. So it's there and we catch the ball like that. Okay, excuse my facial expressions, this is quite tricky. So we've got off the wall, up and we catch again. Okay. So we go off the wall, up, catch. Okay, it is tricky, deliberately so. Uh, it is a bit of a challenge and we want you to try it out as well. Okay, so let us know how you get on. Uh, the more you do it, the more your touches and pass, touching will come, which will help develop you towards your passing. And we'll get on to the next part of that next time. Okay.